guys, welcome to the Roundtable, episode 81. Woo, getting up there. Super exciting. <laughs> I'm Jenny Walker, the social media ministry leader here at Life Church. And this is Mike Hill. He is our pastor. And we have a special guest today. I feel like I always say special guest, but she is a special guest because yeah. you've been watching. <laughs> Since yeah, the she gives beginning. The questions all the time. Yes. And is faithful. Yes, very faithful, faithful. on the questions. No, it, I think I started at like episode 30 or something. But, Still, but, but I watch old videos all the time and old sermons. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. But even so, like just from starting out there, you are yeah. like involved. You know, you're in the texting group. Sometimes I have no idea what to ask, but <laughs> 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 so I'm like, oh, Thanksgiving. So okay. have you watched back a while? Has yeah. much changed? Um, setting wise, yes. Okay. We're not sitting at the square table no. that we called round. <laughs> no. Or no. the door that we turned into a table. Right. <laughs> but, but that was round. Yeah. What was? The table, the door. The it, corners were rounded. Yes, we made it round. <laughs> okay, wait. We wait. rounded it out. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. We haven't told who our guest is. No, wait. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> this is Kaylin Griffith, and I have been worried about saying her name for a Say really long again. time. Kaylin Griffith. Good job. Did she get it right? <laughs> yep. yep. It's just very right. confusing. I don't know. Like, it's Kaylin just a weird Griffith. I know. Griffith. I know. Griffith. Yeah, maybe I didn't learn that kind of words when I was younger, you know? Speech. Well, it's kind of hard to say my own class. <laughs> I had to do speech class for no, my No, I know, but what do you mean? Like, you didn't learn Griffith? No. Like, that wasn't I mean, a part of your cap? I mean, the, just list? the way it's just spelled weird, or like, sounded out weird. Yeah. Griffith. Griffith. Is... That's weird. Okay. Back to the round table. Back to the round table. Okay. It was round. It's for sure not round. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, wait. Let's I... just get, be- I don't want to get too far off, but so this is the thing. Like we're always going back and forth of what's right and what's wrong. But I'm right here. Okay. Well, let's hold on. <laughs> Nick, Nick, do you have a microphone? I don't. Nick, what happened to your microphone? I know. What did happen to your microphone? You're the producer of the show. <laughs> I know. Last week. Huh? We the producer of the show. I know. We because want to hear. I guarantee you, the producer of our show uh-huh. will uh, make sure that this argument is settled <laughs> with real truth. But it had rounded edges. It had rounded edges. Right, which but makes it, was it round. not a round table. So, an oval. That was like an oval. <laughs> no. It was sort of like an oval. No. Okay, well, it was like one of those things. It wasn't on, an oval either. Okay, but it was like a one of those. A football is yeah. kind of like an oval. Okay, that's okay, right. That's You're right. Like I was thinking oval. of the wrong thing. Right, comes, okay. Right. But it's kind of like a rectangle with rounded yes. edges. So on Canva, you can choose if you want the rounded edges or you want yeah, the. I mean, so I consider so that it's round. It's a rectangle table yes. that had no longer had square edges. It had that we round made edges. round. Right. So we were sitting at a rectangle table. We were sitting at a round table. <laughs> I will forever okay. say this. We want to get too far off. Right. But this is the fun thing right. Jenny and I get to do all the time. We do. I love it. We are really good at arguing. We like no, to the, argue. The, here's the great thing. When you're married someday, is uh-huh. this the way it's going to be? You're always right. Hopefully not. Huh? Hopefully not, because that's super or annoying. you think that's just going to change in your personality? So. Like, that's really annoying. You're just all of a sudden going to be like, oh, yeah, I've been right my whole life. Right, I don't need to be right Now that I'm married anymore. to you, honey, Probably you're not. always right. Yeah. <laughs> I think your future spouse will laugh a lot. Hopefully. Do you think? Yes. Yeah, no, I would say that, too. I Jenny's just good and fun. lighthearted. Yeah. Okay, so tell us a little bit about you. Mm-hmm. What's going on in your life now? What are you loving to do? Because then we'll take an opportunity to kind of go back. But tell us a little bit about you today. Like right now? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, so I'm married. Got How married. long have got you married, been married? Uh, September 12th, 2020. Oh, and, wow. COVID. Um, yeah. I was going to say yeah. that was during COVID. Be yep. known as the COVID. Yeah. Wait, we got married wedding. outside. Um, did you plan? Was your wedding before then? Like, did you have to push it back? Because of no, COVID? We yeah. actually, no, it was, we actually got engaged during COVID. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Or no, just just right before COVID. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Um, but then uh, we had our daughter, Charlene. She was born just five months before our wedding. Mm-hmm. So uh, she was five months old at the wedding. Oh, wow. And then um, December 2nd, 2021, we had our son, Connor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Aww. Yep. So our family's grown a lot. And then my <laughs> yeah. stepson, Case, and... Yeah, uh, so. Do you want a big family? Um, I think we're done. Done? Yeah. Really? Boy yeah. and girl? Okay. Yeah. Was yeah. that the thing? Like, if we get the boy and the girl, we're done? Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. My my husband really wanted another son. 
to he's got so are my stepson case he's okay. nine okay. so yeah he got his wish both times okay. <laughs> one of a sister got a sister one of a brother got a brother so okay. yeah so and so you're like I'm out no more yeah pretty much <laughs> <laughs> and, so Connor just turned one on mm-hmm. Friday so it's like okay we're done with the bottles or yeah kind done of away. enjoying it yeah kind yes. of enjoying it. And then, so um, I do work full time. Um, I'm a paralegal at Truett Law Offices, and I love it. Is that and somewhere here? Is yep. that close? Yeah, it's not downtown, right, right across from the courthouse. No, um, Truett Law Offices is um, but really it's close to the Kroger in Huntington. Okay, um, in the same plaza as the Bowen Center, oh, oh, yeah. like across the. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Across and that's what you've always there. done, paralegal. Yeah. I've done that for about 12 years now. Really? Okay. What yeah. is a paralegal exactly? A real a uh, lawyer. I didn't have time A lawyer's to it. assistant. Oh, yeah. it is? Yeah. Wow. Is look a, at you. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, what I would say it yeah, was. But it they is. do a lot of work for I, the law. I mean. I bet. Yeah, we do. We do. They definitely don't want to discredit what the attorney does, but we do a lot of the communication, yeah, like drafting. Yeah, they're like the voice of the attorney. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like with the courts and stuff? No, with the people. With the yeah, people? Yeah, if it gets to litigation, yes. Okay. But- um, like pre litigation, it's just a lot of communicating with the clients and yeah. like insurance call in, companies, you never get insurance. medical providers, all that fun stuff. Oh. Yeah. The funny thing is, you get your lawyer bill and it's like a hundred dollars an hour, but you talk to the paralegal, I bet they don't get paid a hundred dollars an hour. Uh, well, and yeah. our office is contingency, so okay. we don't do the billable. But I did work for a, a firm that was billable, yeah, before and that. Send yeah. them an wow. email. Bill, yeah. talk on the phone. Exactly, Bill. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. And I'm like, I haven't even talked to you. Where'd this come yeah. from? Yeah. It's expensive. Yeah. Lawyers really are. But they're invaluable, though, because oh, they're the absolutely. person that talks to you all the time and gives you. So how'd you get into yeah, it? I know. That's what I want to know. Like, did you so, go to school to be a para? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. I don't know what really led me to go to school for a paralegal. I just kind of. So I actually wanted to be a police officer instead. Really? But then I well, discovered. I'm glad that didn't work. <laughs> Because then you've been pulling me over. (laughs) Same. She might have arrested me. Well, so. (laughs) Keep your water in your mouth. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Like, you should breathe. That was funny. (laughs) She might have arrested me. She might have. My first job, I was a server at Pizza Hut for seven years in Columbia City. Oh, wow. So then I got to know some of the officers and whatnot and told them what. I wanted to do and I wanted to be an officer. So then the, some of them kind of told me like, oh, you have to be attacked by a dog. You have to be tasered. Oh, and then before, all yeah. this. So of course, um, being attacked by a dog did not sound pleasing. And then <laughs> pulling over semi drivers for some reason, just from like anywhere across the nation, just terrified me. Oh, yeah. So yeah, um, yeah that's why. Murder documentaries. Yep. I see. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. What, yep, they're just going to throw you in the sleeper and take off? Or you just what? never know. Yeah, just the unknown. It's one of the sketchiest places is a truck stop. Late at night. <laughs> <laughs> so don't be going Are there. you saying this because you've been there? Because you watched it on TV? Yeah, I mean, oh, just all the things I hear, you know? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah when the truck drivers place. used to come to Zerkers, they always talked about the lot lizards. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, the ones girls that, just, that yeah, are wandering around at the truck yeah. stop. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, it gets a little sketchy. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. favorite part about being a para? Is there anything that you... Parent? Para. <laughs> para? No, um, parenting sucks. <laughs> no, I love going to um, work. Kids are terrible. <laughs> honestly, yeah, like, I love talking... So I work in the personal injury, so okay. it's when something or someone is injured, needs some help, needs... Um, guidance on like what to do. Um, like you I, fall I love, over and slip on ice yep, and that way you can sue Kroger. Yeah. Or spill hot coffee. Kind of, but we, like a lot of them is a car accidents, you oh, know, oh. but you know, hit by a drunk driver or just someone collided into them. Something. Uh-huh. It's really, it's really cool actually. Yeah. So the so deal is like, if you part. get hit by somebody else and you get hurt, yep. then there's like, you yep, do if something you're not about at fault. It? Yeah. If okay. you're not oh, at fault. Oh, so like, Insurance and stuff is it? Yep. Do you deal with that as yep. well? Mm-hmm. So some people have to. If they get hit, they have to go through a lawyer. Um, you don't have to, but, but if you want to pursue a claim and try to get the most value benefit. out, oh, yeah. Okay, I see. It just yeah. helps. Yeah, hmm. you guys know all yeah, the that's it. laws and all that stuff. I don't. The attorney does. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but you know a lot to be able to do all of that. Yeah. So. 
working as a paralegal. Yeah. What else do you do? What do you do for fun? Um, other than stack wood. <laughs> I know. Tell I us about that. the stacking wood. You no, know, Sarah said last night we we're driving somewhere and yeah. she's like, Oh, who do you have on the podcast? Yeah. And I told her and I said, Oh, and here's her description. She's like, <laughs> Stacking wood? I know. It's so it's it's crazy. I know. <laughs> is it the axe? Like, is that what you're doing? Like no. it's just therapeutic. So my husband has a splitter. So okay. we, we um heat with or a wood stove. We have a furnace as a backup, you know, yeah. but we heat with a wood stove. And Homesteaders. I have loved being in a house where you do the wood. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, Would smells. you be the wood stacker? Would I be a wood yeah. stacker? I don't know. I've it's been... kind of like putting a puzzle together. Okay, like, like Tetris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love Tetris. <laughs> I would just love, see, these are the things. Did you ever listen to the podcast where Jenny talked about being a farmer? Oh, yeah, just a few. Where she ago. went out I... and, like, she was... Scraping stalls or something weird. Oh, yes, um, you were helping with the dogs, huh? and you were helping with the dogs. Yes, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and That's I said, can you imagine Jenny now? You look at her right now. Can you imagine what she wears to the barn? <laughs> I mean, it's really not that deep. Like, huh? it's not. No, I know, I'm but not, it's like, not like real work stuff. Like, you put on the fake rain boots. You know, well, these are yeah. not like real they're pretty ones, right? Yes, you but, said, right? You yes. wear bibs, but, but they're like dress bibs. But that's all that I have. No, I know, but that's what I think is funny. Like, <laughs> okay. you bring her out there to be a wood splitter, she would come out in her flannel, <laughs> I would. her jeans, I would. and her hiking boots to look like yeah, a I like to be lumberjack. Yeah. Like, I gotta look the part. Yes. That's all I was trying yes. to say. But that yeah, is very true. He, my husband uses a splitter, mm -hmm. and then. And what is a splitter exactly? It's a machine that. It's a hydraulic, right? That hydraulic machine things. that. Well, I got one. that. So instead of <laughs> that you made sense. using a mall or an axe, uh -huh. uh, you the just splitter. You just all you do is push the lever down and it splits it for you. Yes, yeah, so oh. you put the piece of wood in there, hit the lever, and it splits it. And then if you yeah. want it smaller, you put it up again. And it okay, it and it's really cool. Actually, have you ever done like an axe one? Um, like like a no. done that? One. Like I've tried, but I've never split a piece of wood. Really? Because like that would be fun. not really strong. Hmm? Yeah, me either. <laughs> Okay, let's make that as a thing. Next week, we could bring in a piece of wood. And right here, and, and for it. all of our podcast <laughs> yeah. listeners, you could try to split a piece okay, of wood. Okay, let's do it. Is there any paramedics around, just in case? We can call Mikey. Yeah, if you miss the piece of yeah, wood yeah, and yeah. sever your artery in your leg. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I which promise. I think is a real possibility. We might need her as a paralegal if I hurt myself at work. <laughs> do you do that? <laughs> I got work claim. Oh, yeah. You know what would be fun? Like if you really dressed up like a lumberjack I yeah. next week and we bring in a piece of wood and we give you a little splitting Let's mall. do it. Yeah. I'm down. Here's a gift for you. Yeah, yeah. I would be so happy. Yeah. Let's okay, do it. Okay, other than splitting wood, other things you guys stacking do Stacking wood. Stacking okay. wood. Yes, yeah, so what is wood. that about? Stacking wood. It's really like putting a- Therapy. So that's the Tetris part of it. Yeah. yeah. Stacking it. Because, I mean, you can't just put- all round pieces on the bottom yeah, or in fall. a row. Cause then you'll pfft. little tumble. Yeah. And you got to make sure it's not slanted. Mm. Otherwise it's going to tip over. So, it's and you keep it outside, outside right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Outside. Well, we do have like a metal box beside our wood stove to keep a little bit of a, yeah. a load there. Mm. Is yours indoors or outdoors? Indoor. It's an indoor. Yep. Yeah. They have outdoor ones. Mm -hmm. Outdoor wood boilers. Yeah, those are super cool. Yeah. <laughs> are they like, like patios one, and stuff? Like no, that kind like of an thing? outdoor wood boiler. It's like the uh, idea was so everybody gets mad. So when I grew up, you had a basement, you had a wood stove, mm -hmm. and so you'd cut wood and throw all of your wood in the basement, right? And so you stack oh, okay. it all up, and you your whole basement was full of wood because it dries. Because if you oh. don't, if you burn wet wood or creosote, you know, you hear people like burning their house down. Yeah. Well, live wood. Yeah. 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 So if you burn green wood, mm -hmm. you know, that is creosote. So green is, it's not dead or seasoned, mm -hmm. you know? And then if you burn wet wood, it creates creosote inside of your uh, chimney pipe and burn. So anyway, oh. so you throw it all in there, you store it, it seasons, you burn it. Mm -hmm. Well then people didn't, when people started finishing their basements, you know, nobody wants to throw wood down there. Oh, well, yeah. right? Right. So the idea is people who wanted to still do it, you put these huge wood boilers outside uh -huh. and you fill them and they're all hot water heat. So the, it heats the whole boiler has like pipes okay. of hot water and then it heats that water up and then those pipes go in over a heat exchanger uh -huh. and then it heats your house through it. Okay. But you keep the mess outside and you can that load them up. That's the benefit of it. Yeah. And you can load them up and they'll burn 12 hours. Oh, wow. So the problem with wood stoves is sometimes you have to get up and stoke them in the middle of the Yeah. Night. Oh, Yeah. 
Oh yeah. yeah. Ours, so, we can put coal in it and we have coal for like those yeah. terribly cold yeah. mm-hmm. below zero days. Right. But yeah. Hmm. Yeah, because if you put right. like anthracite coal in, like a real hard coal, it burns a lot longer and it's cleaner. But oh, good to know. Yeah. yeah. So now it's you know chore. when you when you marry your lumberjack husband. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you'll be all you can sit at a date and I say, can. "Hey, I know about." I'll do it for yeah. us. Yeah. Let, me, let me tell you about a splitter. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I it's funny. Let me it. tell you about it. I yeah. asked my husband, like, "All right, do you have a load for me to to stack yet?" It's like, hold all your horses, okay? <laughs> so were you into this before you moved no, to a place? No, actually, like, we would, no, no. Like, growing up, we had a fireplace, yeah. but it was just really cosmetic. Like, we didn't use it for heat. Yeah. You know, just as we wanted, I guess. Stocking but stuffers. we didn't need to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hang them on the chimney. Exactly. Yeah. But my dad did. Burn wood. So you just were never like involved with it. Exactly. So did you grow up a country girl? Are you a country girl? I mean, I guess kind of. Are you kind of a city girl? Which one are you? No, (laughs) I grew up in the country, um, north of Columbia City. Okay. Yep. And close to Camp Whitley, if you're familiar with Camp Whitley. No. In Columbia City. But anyways, um, we showed cows as when we were in 4-H. We are in 4-H. Country girl. We are in 4-H. Tom Definitely. Um... Not really. Uh, Somewhere I'm not in a girly girl, but I'm not a tomboy either. I'm just okay. kind of in, in between. In the middle. The yeah. in between. Which one are you, Jenny? Which one do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the I've tomboy. ever been a tomboy. That's what I would think. Yeah, I know. I travel yeah. real hard. Yeah. The, I don't think you fit the girly girl. <laughs> not at all. No. Not yeah. at all. Mm-mm. Okay. So yeah. again, so outside of uh, stacking yeah. wood, is there anything else that you love to do? Dancing. Yeah. Which, so did you dance like um, in like school square or something? Yeah, I, line dancing. <laughs> Oh. Line dancing. Hey, can you get up and do a little? Yeah. I will not embarrass myself. What are you I talking know. about? Oh, but I did Put a- Put us on some music. Yes. Huh? Oh, my God. The, like the electric I'll slide, I'll do it with right? you. Do <laughs> yeah. The boot scoot Is and buggy. Is that line dancing? The boot scoot and buggy. Oh yes. <laughs> Huh? That is there? not the electric slide. No, I know it's not, but, but I just feel like when you're doing the line dancing, you just kind of look at the person in front of you and you're like, yeah, yeah. I just don't even know how to line dance. Huh? It's really fun. So, where do you do it at? Is there, are there like competitions? So, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> weddings and country bars. Oh. So, I will, okay, so rewind just a little bit. I, oh. I, so, I danced on the Okay, dance at Dance Till You Drop. What's Late, Dance Till You Drop? It's a dance studio in Columbia <sighs> That's City. That's a good name. But I did not do that I have for very long. Till I dropped. Yeah? Mm, oh, yeah, I broke my, um, <laughs> tore my MCL. Oh, MCL, because yeah, you tried anyways. to pop and lock or something. Yeah, and I dropped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never came back up, so I literally. <laughs> pop, lock, and drop it. <laughs> yes, girl. Back when that was cool. Okay, but so then, you were a dancer dancer. Yeah, so I, I used to do that and then danced on the high school dance team and so we really only performed for basketball games yeah but it was just another opportunity I guess Mm -hmm. but um so then in my younger 20s I used to go to the country bars quite a bit and I line (laughs) danced a lot and that is what's your favorite country bar uh well it was Rusty Spur where's that at it was on DuPont DuPont Leo Crossing I don't know like I haven't gone for years. Is but Pierre still a thing? I don't know. It's there. Yeah. I've okay. never. Because uh, didn't Pierre's have a countryside? Mm, I don't. A uh, countryside? So. Yeah, because isn't there different places in Pierre's? Like yeah. you go to the country oh, Pierre's and the like pop, so, drop, and lock it Pierre's. <laughs> and the, so I don't know. Okay. I don't so know. you I've only went to the Rusty Spur? Yeah. Um, the Neon Armadillo. The <gasps> times. I feel like I've heard of that on the radio. And then, so the Post also in Pierston. Uh-huh. The Post. Um, yeah, the post in Pearson. It's a, yeah, it's wow. a real you a regular bar. at no, these like no. country bars. So, no, I have because you said you don't go anymore. Because this makes me sound really bad. It's, no, but, it does. Oh, but, 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 listen, but listen, so the, my dad um, was in a band for like twenty some years. Oh, the band wow. Cheyenne. I don't know if you've heard of them. The band I, Cheyenne. The Cheyenne. No. Yeah. Are they on Apple Music? Cheyenne. Um, I think. Now they have a song out, but dad is not in it. He kind of, he oh, quit okay. the What was he, the lead thing. singer? Um, he was a backup singer and a bass player. Oh. Wow. But he did that for a really long time. So anyways, when See, they would play. Cheyenne. Oh, Cheyenne. Yep. Like, did they wear like the cowboy looking yeah. stuff? And yeah. Did he have a cowboy hat? Yep. 
Oh, see, I want to do that. <laughs> he didn't always wear the cowboy hat, but he did have one and he occasionally wore it or a ball cap. So yeah. you grew up around that. Yeah. Like that was normal. How Being cool. Being a cowgirl. Yeah. But then, um, so we were, I would go to the post when dad would play. Okay. And then also when he would play at the Rusty Spur. And even if he wasn't playing, oh. I would go there. Because um, there was always like a dance instructor there. That would, help, that would help you learn song or dance At the bar? Yes. Wow. Oh, See, the only reason I didn't go to bars when I was a kid, I can't stand smoke. Yeah. Uh, See, back in the day when oh, I grew man. up, you could smoke in the bar. Yeah. And I couldn't take it. Like, I'd get a headache. Yeah. I couldn't do it. When but. I had gone to the Rusty Spur, that smoking was allowed in there and the post, it's like, you have to plan to take <laughs> yeah, like, just wash your clothes and right. yeah. when you're not because you'll oh, yeah. be covered in it. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't ever breathe. That's the way it was. Yeah, then. but it anyway, so you, line so dancing, where, line yeah. dancing. Yeah. Okay. Do you still do it? Um, not really. Like, cause I, there's really not a place. I mean, I, I do it at home occasionally in the kitchen, and Charlene just laughs at me. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, there's That's really sad. not a place. Yeah, That's sad that there's not was a place. Nathan like it. Like you guys do it together? I mean, no. He does <laughs> he does it to be funny, but he he's definitely got a left foot and it's hilarious. But <laughs> not a good dancer. Yeah, no. I mean he tries. He can slow dance, but that's about it. Did you line dance at your wedding? Um, I'm sure I did. Yeah, you can't remember. <laughs> That was a good day, huh? <laughs> oh. I'm sure I did. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's you don't remember. Hilarious. That's awesome. Yep. But yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Are you watching movies? Anything? Are you like any type Netflix? Um, Binging so, anything? Oh, what? My husband and I just finished Manifest. That's what Courtney said. Yeah. When yeah. she was on here. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And it was good? Really good. Okay. Yeah. Really? Yep. And then other than that, we really don't watch anything. You should watch 1899. My husband's actually started that. Really? Oh, it's so good. Which yeah. is the prequel to Yellowstone? No. No, 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 no. It's 1899 is about a, there's a boat and it's like back in 1899. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? They, why would they ever name it that? I know that's so weird yeah, that they would name that. that. That's but odd. There's on a boat and then they're going to find another boat on their way to um, the United States or from... Um, England, I think, but the other boat, like it's a company and the other boat had been missing for like four months okay. and nobody was on it. Like nobody was responding and they went to get it and, or go look at it. And when they mm -hmm. went on there, nobody was on there, but this one little boy and it's just really weird and cool, but you have to watch it. Okay. But, it's like know, a mind twisting one. It's not like yeah, a thriller, a, like scary yeah. or like, um, like demon messed up like that kind of thing. Cause yeah. He, Cause he kind of looks like yeah, a I mean, you, boy. So you got me hooked with the whole, like I did. there's this boat yeah, and it's in 1899. <laughs> and then there was this other boat. Did you know there was this other boat by a company and it has a, and it has a boy on it. I never yeah. said I was and a good was, at describing and it, stuff. And it's so good. Do you want to watch it? Thing. Do you want to watch it? Yeah. It sounds really good, doesn't nobody, it? Nobody, nobody <laughs> that is listening. In fact, anybody that was the creator of 1899 said, get Jenny off the air. You just ruined the whole thing. I know. Yeah. No, I'm no so good bad at describing stuff, but it's really good, guys. I, I promise. How so, did you and Nathan meet? Um, Ooh, yeah. I at the know. Rusty Spur? No. Oh. No. That was like, so we met on a dating app, actually. Ooh, which one? Because I was done. Like, I was over... <laughs> Which one? You can say, is it tender? No. Is it no. hot uh, or? Plenty of fish. Plenty of fish. Okay, yeah. yeah. Plenty of fish. Plenty of fish. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So um, I was kind of, well, I had been done going to the bar and that stuff. So I, that was like the only way to meet yes. someone, you know? No, right. Right. Yeah. And, and, and how old were you? Um, 25. Okay. 25. So you're okay. 27 now? No, I am 31 now. Yeah. But you got married in 2020? Oh, when you met. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, we were just talking about, so you got right. out of high school. Yep. Yeah. Did, were you in any serious relationships before that and you kind of given it up or? I, mean, I I did have a serious relationship beforehand, but okay. it had been a few years in between. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So plenty good. of fish. Yeah. How would any so guy weird. know how to get on plenty of fish? It, what do you it, mean? I don't even know if it's still a thing now, but it was one it of was the a big thing then. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Yeah. I don't it's know so if funny. it is now because it's gone more so to apps, unless they have yeah. their own app. 
No. Oh, they did. Have oh, they did have their yeah. own app? Okay, because it used to be a website. I remember back in like 09, it was a website. I'm just surprised how many people meet online. Yeah. Oh, like, it's like yeah. a it, lot of people that I talk to now, that's how they meet. That's yeah. Yeah. like the normal way well, now. Well, and back then I would just go to work and come home, go to work, come home. And yeah, there was really no way. no way to meet someone. Mm-hmm. Right. So. Yeah. so was it love at first sight? <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't so, listen to the podcast. So, okay, so he probably no, will he now. Huh? But he does not. But let me tell you. So it was, there were two good signs. He okay. worked for Harley at the time. My dad is a huge, he, my dad rides Harleys. And yes. then, that was um, a, and then he is yes. an IH fan, case IH fan. Uh-huh. And so is my dad. Like I grew up around that. So I'm like, yeah. oh man, they already got two things in common. This will be great. <laughs> so Are that you was a important. case IH fan, Jenny? A what? Case IH fan. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> That's why when I was watching I you, no I knew you had the Harley part down. Oh, yeah, I definitely but Harley. Like, yeah, Casey H. <laughs> That's a really what? cool place. There's That's no a cool way. Is it a she tractor? knows what it's that a, is. It's a tractor. Yeah. It's the red tractor. Yeah. Okay, it sounded like, not a, green. like a game. Not or green. not a game, but like a team. Yeah, see, I grew up with the international. <laughs> but everybody went to John Deere. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh. now a lot of people are, yeah, got uh, cats. Oh, you yeah. Know, that oh. seems to be the yellow stuff now and yeah anyway and so a good sign how do you know yeah. that was he wearing a hat so he was wearing an ih sweater sweater or hoodie i was gonna say sweater. <laughs> he was wearing an ih hoodie <laughs> and then like in his bio it, you know explained he said, what he I did love for a living Harley's. oh well, no he, he worked, worked on for Harley's. harley davidson and brant's oh, or yeah. brant's harley davidson he worked okay. there for like 10 or 11 years did he have one yeah he still has one it's a really old classic one that he Ooh. does not take the time to fix. Okay. He works on everyone else's stuff, but not yeah. his own. You know how it goes. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. So it was almost love at first sight. Pretty so. much, yeah. yeah. Is plenty of fish, do you have to, like, how would does that work? Do you both have to like each other to connect um, or? I actually totally forget. Yeah. I don't even know. I bet it is something like that because that's how they oh, all well, how's are. it normally That's work. how Tinder is, Yeah. Right? Like, oh, like you got most a match. Of, um, mm-hmm. Tinder's what? Like you have, uh, yeah. both parties have to like each other. Okay. Yep. So if I see this one guy before he sees my profile and I like him and then he likes me, then we'll both be notified. That, hey, that you have a match. Yes, yep. that we would like each other. And it's about ready to get tender. <laughs> <laughs> You should just do a commercial for them. That was great. That was good. Well, I mean, isn't that why they call it Tinder? I just never had thought about it. I mean, do you know what Tinder is? Yeah, like soft and like huh? Really tender-hearted. That's tender. Yes. Tinder. Tender. Tender. <laughs> what? Oh, I don't know. What does it mean? Isn't that the stuff you use to get a fire going? I know it's kindling, but they also call it Tinder. <gasps> really. That has some oh, hidden meaning that's behind why it. There's like a flame on the. Yeah. There is a flame in there. Oh, okay. I'm almost positive. That's so funny. Nick, is that oh, right? Like is it Tinder or something you is use there, to get a fire like going? A maybe, yeah. maybe. See, I our producer so. just confirmed it. Well, it is something to get a. Confirmed. Yeah, that's oh. why I said it's about ready to get Tinder. Okay, no, uh, that is so the funny. Fire, <laughs> the fire is that about is to get I get lit. lit. About to get it's lit. about to get lit. Yeah, about to get lit. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I just never thought about it like that yeah, yeah i don't know either. why any of the other ones bumblebee i know bumble yeah bumble but yeah I don't that know has why a lot that's... of meaning behind it you think so <laughs> no what, what? i bet it what, does what? bumble i just don't know bumbling into Isn't people bumble the one where the woman has to talk first yes so what would bumble yeah, mean? Yeah, so you know why they say what? bumble? Because they bumble, because bumble. Because of the queen. <laughs> they're talking. No, I know. About, no. <laughs> no, 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 I know. Bumble, let me bumble through it. this. I got it. It's the queen bee. <laughs> oh. Because she has to talk first. Oh, yeah. That so makes more sense than what bumbling it is. along. Yep, it was made yeah. by a bunch of women. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how See, long did you guys date before you got married? Um, Four? Three and a half? I'm really bad with timelines. <laughs> yeah, years or there. months? Like years. Three years. and a half years. I think it was three. Wow. Maybe two yeah. and a half, three years. Yeah. Anyways. Like, were you a, uh, hey, I got to figure it out over time person or no, not ready um, to get married? Or We were just so busy, to be honest. Like, okay. we've been remodeling. So he bought a fixer upper before we met. Got so it. literally, we've just been like fixing the house the Ugh. whole time. Wow. Yeah. And he actually proposed when... We got home from Menards 
And if From you know a what? Ha- Menards. 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 Yeah. Okay. Oh, so, yes. We got to hear this story. You can never leave Menards <laughs> without spending a lot of money, right? Yeah. Menards is awesome. Oh, man. So, anyways, we had just bought our new, like, uh, I think it's a one or one piece fiberglass shower. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it was very stressful. I get home and by the time we're home, I'm like in a really bad mood. Yeah. I don't know. Just nothing was going <laughs> right. And you always have to wait forever there. So yeah. anyways, that was the time he thought, Oh, I'm going to propose to Caleb. Right. So, when you got back. So we got home and then our neighbor, uh, Jim and Jill, they had the ring and they're safe. And then, um, <laughs> Anyways, Nate ended up getting it from them that night. Come home. He asked me to grab a tape measure. So I grabbed a tape measure and I come back and he was there right by the ladder. Like, oh, oh my gosh. And so his he knee. tricked me. Yeah. On his knee? Yeah. That is yeah. cute. And my stepson case too. He was right there on the ladder. So he probably knew the whole day. Yeah. Aww. That's so cute. I was like, really? And then you were in a bad mood. Really? And you were in a bad like, mood. <laughs> then no, he's like, hey, go get the shower out of the truck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You said yes. Can you yep. go get the shower for me? That's actually part of the reason why I was frustrated because we had to take off the door and all that because it's a new construction shower. Yeah, so and it doesn't to, fit in an old. No, <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't was, fit in the door. It was just one of those. Days. Have you ever wanted to just burn your house down? Oh man! Like during the remodeling, really? Yes, because like nothing- I'm just done. I just light the thing on fire. <laughs> Hey, I know all the legal stuff. We burn it down. We'll blame somebody else and get insurance money. <laughs> that would be so great. Yeah. It, you know, it really is stressful because it's a really old yeah. house and nothing is square. You right. know how it goes. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. And I bet like everything just goes or not everything, but a lot of things go wrong because yeah. it is yeah. old. Yeah. Every time you open up one thing, it opens up another. <laughs> oh. Right? Like you start something and then oh, I got to yeah, do we've this put now. New ceilings, new floor joists, new. Yeah. We've like shoveled dirt out of the windows because like we were doing one room at a time. I mean, like it, we. Oh, wow. Literally. But yeah. it's done now. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And we're fixing up our upstairs right now. So we just got rid of all the plaster and oh old insulation. Gosh. So now the bathroom and bedroom up there will be redone. And you're doing it all yourself. Um, most of it. We're actually having someone put the drywall up and yeah. mudding because we are so done with drywall and mudding. I, I bet that's a lot of work. We are so done. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I bet. I, hate that. I am a terrible mudder too because I don't sand enough. So uh-huh. then when you paint over it, you could see a bubble. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So let's go back. So tell okay, us how sorry. you grew up. So tell us a little bit about your childhood. Tell okay. us about, did you go to church? Did you not go to church? Like, okay. Yeah. Tell us about your journey. So, um, my parents have always been split since I've been born. Wow. Funny situation, yes. But um, so my stepmom's always been in my life and she helped raise me. Um, I lived with so my So you have mom. a good relationship with really her? Really good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, not at first. We didn't always have a great relationship going up, but now we're... I'm an adult. I've because you said there you guys were splits from. So your mom and dad got a divorce. Yep, like right when I was born, pretty much. Oh, okay. Yep. Other so, kids, other brothers and sisters. Uh, yep. So I have an older sister, Tiffany, okay. and so she and I share a mom and dad. And then um, my mom remarried and had my sister Haley. Okay. And my dad and stepmom had two children, Jaina. And my sister, Jaina, and my brother, TJ. Okay. So anyways, um, so mainly grew up with my dad and my stepmom. So you stayed with them and not with your real mom. Yeah. I did see my mom, but she was, you know, single parent, kind of struggling. And, you know, would see her on the weekends and all that. But I just think that's different. Why'd that happen? Yeah. Like, why'd you end up with your dad and not your mom? Isn't it always the other way? Sometimes, I yeah. mean, most of the time you yeah, see I've always kids end up with the mom. And but mom, she, she battled a lot of things back oh, in the day. Uh, but, okay. um, but yeah, so my dad, and he was starting the business, so he was gone a lot. Okay. So, so it was just you and your stepmom? Yeah, so of course we didn't always see eye to eye, but now, like, you cannot pull us apart. Mm. Um, Even growing up from, like, basically birth, like, being with mm-hmm. her, like, you still had your differences? yeah. Yeah, because, you know, like as a kid, you're kind of naive and like it, you just want your mom and yeah, your dad. And if you're not that, it's silly. Yeah, yeah. But but anyways, um, yep. So 
grew up with my mom and dad, uh, my dad and my stepmom, sorry. Um, I always call her mom. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, she So it is. confuses people when I talk because I just call them both mom. But yeah. anyways, um, did not grow up in a church. They believed, but never went to church. Um, I think it was more so because they were just so busy. Oh, you know? yeah. My mom had all the kids and uh, dad was busy starting a business and mm-hmm. taking those educational courses and all that. Um, would you talk about God like, or was he brought up anytime not, like Christmas no. or anything? Not really. No. no, it wasn't until, um, it wasn't until my sister. So Tiffany, my older sister, she's four years older than me. And once she got into a serious relationship in high school, she visited a church and I'm like, I want to go to her church. So mm. uh-huh. kind of followed her, went with her and her boyfriend at the time. And I liked it, but I never followed through. Yeah. You know, it was just not a priority of mine at the time. And then later, a few years down the road, Tiffany met her husband, and then she became very involved with their church. And um, they raised their kids in the church, and that's kind of what le- kind of what led me yeah. to want to go. Was your sister mm-hmm. and then her boyfriends at the time, right? Like, well, yeah, there was one that she had visited his church, but more so my sister and her husband now and, and all that and seeing her like raise her kids in the church and, uh-huh. and so going seeing th- change her. Yeah. So going through high school. Yeah. Never. No faith. I think mean, so. Yeah. Really like no- I, I always believed, but I never went to church. Right. Right. And I think I, I did go to youth group a couple times with some friends, but I was never. So can we talk involved. about this just for a second? Yes. So <laughs> I just think this is interesting. The only reason I'm bringing yeah. it up. So last night at my men's group. Okay. So a guy who would, I think it's his second time there. He brought up this podcast that he's been listening to. And in this podcast, um, there's this theory, you know, that he'd been talking about is that after Jesus, because Jesus defeated hell, mm-hmm. right, went to hell and defeated hell, he said, and because of that, there really is no hell. And that as long as you believe in God, everybody goes to heaven, right? So we, this theory that, that he had, and he said that because they defeated hell and because Jesus is sins forgive all past, present, and future. Right. As long as you bring to believe in God, mm-hmm. there are many ways to get there, right? It doesn't really matter. You know, That's so what the podcast teaches or is yeah. saying? Okay. They yeah. believe well, that. again, it comes from Rob Bell. So I, I, he didn't know that I knew this, but mm-hmm. I'd said, oh, well, you know, if you read the book, Love Wins, right? So it's a book that Rob Bell, he was a preacher in Grand Rapids. Nick, you remember him, right? Yep. Yeah. So he was a preacher in Grand Rapids, huge with young people. Right. Okay. And so in that, he then wrote this book called Love Wins. And in Revelation, it says, every knee shall bow, every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So right. everybody will go to heaven. Nobody will go to hell. That's what the whole book was. Love wins. God would never send anybody to hell. Anyway, what it brought it up. So when you say mm-hmm. your parents believed and you believed. So yeah. let's talk what that Like, what does that mean Mm. in the mind of somebody when they say, I believed? Because where you are today is Mm -hmm. for sure different than where you were. Right. Right. So when people say they grew up always believing Mm -hmm. and now where you're at today, what is the difference? Just so we can clarify that for people, because I do think that there is a difference. I mean, I think you even stated there was this difference in my life. Mm -hmm. From when I did, so how does always believing fit into the difference in where you are today? So I I think, yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, I think when you're younger, you really don't, there's a lot less complications, I guess. Like you don't, I I mean, like as you become an adult, there's a lot more responsibilities Mm -hmm. and you struggle more and Mm -hmm. stuff like that. So you really don't like crave that extra you know, love and forgiveness and stuff. Um, I don't know if it was because I was young and I didn't really, I I thought I just didn't need him, Mm -hmm. but I I also just didn't doubt him. No, right. So you believed in God. Like there was a God. So people talked about God. Yeah. You're not against God. Yeah. I didn't have a reason to doubt him, I guess. So you didn't doubt that there was a God. Right. Uh But you also didn't, understand or accept the lifestyle that you're in today, uh-huh. right? Which uh-huh. is the faith yeah. yep. of believing in Jesus, yeah. yes. right? So there is a yep. difference in all of that. So mm-hmm. either way, so you grew up 
But then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I should be different than what I was. Yeah. Right. So when was that? After high school? Um, yeah. After high school, um, it was, I would say, honestly, when I became a parent. Okay. And, um, really when I had, so when I had Charlene, mm-hmm. um, I knew that I, I knew that I wanted her to be involved in a church and so I had listened to a few of your um, messages (laughs) before Uh we started coming here. (laughs) No, for real. Um, I just, I just love it. Anyway. So um, something, Oh, there was an amplified series Mm -hmm. um, about the past and like, you know, everyone's worthy of it. God loves you regardless of your past, I guess. And Mm -hmm. um, I really just, it just opened my eyes. I'm like, Mm. I want my family to be saved and I want all of us to spend eternity in heaven. Mm -hmm. And like our priorities are, mind you, I could still, there's still a lot of work that I need to do, you know, but I I, am on a mission, you know, I want my kids to be on that same mission too. And that's now really important to me. Never was before. Well, you've also said that you saw your sister, right? Like she was raising her children and A church and didn't I, you just said that that she was like your role model in oh, that yeah. sense yep she is my like role it changed model. you mm-hmm. yep so when you and Nate met yeah faith wasn't a big no nope. drawing factor it nope. was case I- ih and wood splitting <laughs> 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 was the attraction yes. i'm just kidding yes and yeah. work and all that stuff yeah. so faith but, didn't really play into it right that much like we both we did have discussions yeah no for sure but it yeah it was not a priority yeah no nope, it wasn't until we had yeah and so kids. when was that a you came to this agreement together right you yeah, know, I know so about that. like you both so you have a baby mm-hmm. and you're both like Oh, wow. So I've actually, okay. So, um, it might've been before I had, it was before I had Charlene. I did go to a couple different churches and he, he wasn't a fan. So then, um, you know, then it became more serious. Like I was even more adamant about going to a church yeah. after Charlene anyways. And then he goes, well, let's go here. Like, I really enjoyed the pastor. You said that or he said that? He said that. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then we also had um, Johan and Deanna grew, you know, invite us here a couple times. and and Relationships with people help a lot. And they they did go to a different church as well and just said how much they they like it here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because Johan, I think Johan's dad came here, Johan Sr., Mm -hmm. even before Johan Jr. did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, I remember you were speaking there at uh, Johan's uh, funeral. funeral. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's cool how like one person comes and then that family comes. Yeah. And then because the family came, it invites another family. Mm-hmm. And you got your relationship back with God. Like it's yeah. really cool to see that. Yeah. Just like and, one step of one person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So talk about what's different. That's what I'm always interested yep. in. You know what I mean? Because like yep. you, you grow up and it's not that you're against, but you're really not for, Yeah. you know, so now you're at this place of saying, even for the sake of my family, mm-hmm. we should probably do something. Yep. So mm-hmm. what is the biggest difference in going from, Hey, I kind of know what it was, or I'd kind of visited churches too. Cause when I see you, I see somebody who's, pretty passionate about the Lord, Mm -hmm. who's pretty excited about what God's doing in your life and in your family's life. And that's just such a big switch. I mean, you're not just attending church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think it's, it wasn't just like, oh, I got baptized and now I come to church, but I I don't like you feel, it feels like you've made this big switch. And it, and I, I'm so serious. I'm going to toot your horn because (laughs) every, every single passage or sermon um, you feel convicted and, and that's what everyone needs. I feel like, cause then you just know what to change, what to work on. Mm. So that ha- plays a, that really does play a huge part in like how it's changed me and how I guess I'm, I'm living it through mm-hmm. because yeah, I, I mean, I, I could say so much, but, um, I, I forget what the question was. Well, no, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, so like, so for, now, yeah. so now, sorry. Um, now, like since coming to church and being more involved and trying to establish a better relationship with God, mm-hmm. I 
feel more comfortable about talking about God in front of friends and mm. family and even public coworkers. Yeah. Um, depending on the conversation, like it, 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 I'm not shy about it, I guess, anymore. You know, You've well, I invite know. a lot of people to church now yeah. and they, I mean, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. I mean, again, that's, but, that's all he tells but us. But yeah, just do. cause like I want everyone to feel the excitement that I feel coming yeah. here, you know, it's and like, everyone's been so welcoming here. It just, it feels like I, I've been coming here for years and I, I haven't. And how long have you been coming? Um, beginning of March. Okay. Yeah. Cause they amplified. Yep. That's it, when, it, it was beginning of March. It was right before the Revelation series. Oh, wow. Mm. Yep. So we started, it was like <laughs> such a great time. <laughs> that went on and, and, on, later. and on and on. Yeah. on and on. But and it, was on so it was so good. It was so good. It was. It was a great time for us to start. Yeah. That like, really, yeah. It was. It really was. <laughs> and then you're not only, like, you are living that life out. Like, so. I'm trying. You're not only, like, telling people, but they yeah. can see that. In well, the way you live. You talk about um, re- re- relationship, not religion, mm-hmm. yeah. and, and not just um, having church and um, like being involved in small groups as um, something to check off your list, you mm-hmm. know, like a routine. Um, and I, let me tell you, my daughter, Charlene, she is only two and she starts our prayers like all the Aww. time. Mm-hmm. She, it's so it's so cool because like we we started to pray more before dinner, but then it's, then it got to thinking like, we should pray more. Yeah. Like not just at the dinner table. We yeah. should pray more. Mm-hmm. So she and I pray together when we're in the car. And now mm-hmm. it's like, sometimes when she grabs a snack, she wants to pray like, mommy pray. Yeah. And it's like, this is so cool because like you say, your kids watch yeah. you, you know, right. they're, yeah. it, it just, it's, yeah. Especially that age. That has to be <laughs> such a good feeling. Yeah. Like I made the right decision. Because I went out of my comfort zone and yeah. now I'm seeing it. Yeah. In it her. Work in her. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. So in your journey, again, because part of what we want to do yeah. is just like have people relate with your story, mm-hmm. you know, because I think that, again, we said this, a lot of people can relate because that's the same way they were. Like, yeah. And especially in the Midwest. Like, I think there are a lot of people that just grew up and like, I know who God is. Mm-hmm. Kind of into a church, it's just not all that mm-hmm. interesting. Then there's a moment, you know, and everybody's moment's different mm-hmm. that I decide, oh, I'm going to do something about this. And then usually when they do, there's two things that happen. There's some like pivotal circumstances or key relationships that keep it going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like that help it keep moving forward. And yeah. sometimes there's some stumbling blocks. Have you had either one of those of like, are there any key relationships that are helping you in your journey? Are there, have there been any pivotal circumstances? And again, just to teach, like, mm-hmm. this is how my journey has went. Mm-hmm. This yeah. has been important. And this is what's helping me. And, or yeah. like, stay away from this yeah. because yeah. this yeah. kind of drew me back or got me off course or mm-hmm. Like any thoughts on that? It might not be. I just curious if you had anything. No, um, I, I can't really think of anything other than I used to be um, a lot more quick to anger, and like mm. now in situations, I, I tr- I'm trying not to. Um, it's hard, you know. Just briefly, That's surprising. Hard you don't seem like somebody it's, that would be quick to anger. Well, it's it's just it's hard. It's hard being a stem mom sometimes. Yeah, I love them so much, but it's just hard. Um, and it's hard for them too. It's hard for everyone in that role. But, um, but what's helping me get through is honestly staying involved here, Mm -hmm. Mm. staying involved here. Um, I, we're in the nursery now, um, once a month and then I am trying, well, we went to that family discipleship class Mm -hmm. and Nelson Mm. was teaching. That was really good. Um, but I guess just trying to stay involved and stay around positive people. Yeah. Like stay connected. Yeah. Yes. That is a huge thing. Accountability. Yes. And find you, Nathan and I really don't hang out at all. Like we just work and go home Mm -hmm. and just stay in our little bubble and just talk to people that we work with. But I don't know. This is really good. You brought this up earlier. Nick has talked about this a lot in the whole, like, what's the church's responsibility to help people stay connected? Mm -hmm. Because Mm -hmm. there is a real reality that people feel connected when they go back and listen to podcasts or when they go back and watch 
videos of past sermons or they go on and listen to people's past stories. Like they feel connected Mm -hmm. because again, not everybody is that going to be, I'm going out with people all the time Mm -hmm. and I'm always going to be in everything that's going on. Right. Some people are just okay with, you know, and the older I get, the more I'm like this. I just kind of like the simpler. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be busy every single night. I don't want to have something like it's kind of nice to just come home. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of nice to just be with your family. It's kind of nice to just relax. You know, you're busy all the time. Oh, know? yeah. And so, yeah, not having such a huge circle of people. So you can stay connected mm-hmm. in other ways. Right. Yes. Know? And again, like. I love watching this podcast and, and I've said hi to a few different people that's been on it. It's like, yeah. oh, that's so cool. that podcast. it's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. And yeah. yeah. And like, I, I build up, I build up the courage to like shake your hand one day. I'm like, hi, <laughs> my name is Caleb Griffith. I haven't had the chance to meet you yet. But it that's was really so cool. funny. But like the more you, like, and like the Do more I you watch s- this, you, the more you feel connected, you yeah. know? Do yeah. I seem like an unapproachable person? It's no, just a pastor. Just always talking, you know, like always oh, talking to yeah. someone, you know? Yeah. It's kind of rude to be like. <laughs> <laughs> he is always talking to somebody. I mean, usually. <laughs> yes. Usually there's people that want to. But I oh, caught well, you yeah. when you were walking from a, a group of people to another group. So I was like. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> in the middle. Yes. Yeah. Gonna get him. And Nathan had remembered me, right? Yeah. From the past. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Did too. Nathan, did he grow up in church? Um, they yes, yep. They did go to church. I think uh when he was in middle school or high school, they kind of stopped going uh-huh. to church. Um, probably for, you know, the same busy reasons. Right. But um he never really um went to church afterwards. He did visit here. Uh-huh. Um he he came here for a little while before we met, and then kind of, as he says, fell off the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've but heard he, him say that before. Fell off the wagon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what he says. Yeah. But he was like seeking that. Yep. Before he met you. Yeah. Okay. Because yep. I always wondered, like, or not always, but I wonder how quick he was to say okay to come back to church. Because I feel like that's a big decision. And I think it's harder, like. I don't know. Maybe he just kind of struggled like going into a church by himself. And, yeah. And you know, like it'd be easier to. Mm-hmm. As yeah. a family. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Instead of being singled out, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that would be hard. That'd yeah. Be difficult to just like jump right back in. Uh huh. You know, try, oh, to find, try to find your place. Yeah. Being single or be just hard in general. Being single. No, like coming to a church by yourself. By yourself. Right. Yeah. You know that being single. Yeah. Yeah. I guess I didn't get your question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. being single as a dad. Right. Showing up for church on a yeah. Sunday morning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And trying to fit in. Yeah. And it's really great now because you guys offer like so many classes and like opportunities for people to get to know each other. Yeah. It's really good. It's really yeah, good. It's just walking in. That's that's very intimidating. Just like walking in do. a church? Yeah. Uh, especially, remember when it'd be like, okay, the pastor would be like, turn around and greet everybody's what? hands <laughs> or shake everybody's no. hands, tell everybody hi. Wait. I hated that. That never happened here. Oh, no, no not here. I was just places. Say, if that yeah, happened here, somebody's no. getting executed. <laughs> <laughs> no, but a lot, a, a lot, a lot of churches do that. Really? Yeah. I've been I, I thought ton. that was still way old school. No. Nope. To this day, people still yes. do that. Yes. So would you be would you be freaked out if all of a sudden nobody in the church talked to you and then the pastor said, "Hey, get up and <laughs> yes, 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 yes." I've yeah. been in churches yeah. where they do that, and you are so right. It does make you feel like Weird. pressured. Oh, they have to shake my hand because the pastor says to. Yeah, yeah, right. They didn't they didn't like you before. Yeah, but right. now they're going to make a big show in front of the pastor <laughs> because I'm told to. Yeah, because the pastor told him to do that. <laughs> Yeah. 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 I always go to the bathroom during that time. (laughs) It's just awkward. I don't know. It's just so awkward. I hate it. You would get up and go to the bathroom? I would go anywhere else. Anywhere. Just take off and leave. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. So we're at the end. We are. Yeah. So we got like five minutes left. Yes. We have what? Five minutes left. Dang. Okay. So it goes pretty quick. It did. Right? Yeah. All right. So what I'm about to read is... The questions that we, or you guys ask the questions, we send out a text every week and we let you know who's on the podcast. We give you a little bit of a description of them and a picture so it's easier 
I don't know, when you hear a name, sometimes it's hard to connect, mm -hmm. but anything you would like to know about the person, even if you don't know them, you can like pick up on the descriptions of what is said. Like some people did that already, but we want you to be involved. We want you to ask questions. I think the number's at the bottom of the screen. It sure is. Look at that. Woo, yes. Now that is a producer <laughs> that, that is, is on it. Mm -hmm. On so it. I'm going to ask you the questions. Okay. All right. First one. Hold on, guys. Okay. Doug Bragg. He says, how do you and your husband teach your kids about Jesus? I'm always interested in hearing other parents' methods. Yes, that is a really good I know. Yep. You wouldn't let me ask? Tell her it. Huh? You shut me up. That was the next one I was going to tell her. Because <laughs> I told her a question before. Yeah. No, And especially since we're like in this Christmas series and mm -hmm. we're talking about this whole idea yeah. of like, are you showing hope? Like, what are your kids going to learn through right. the Christmas season? So, so we actually have some... Uh, nursery books and like we read them or I read them to the kids and um it kind of goes it's actually an Easter book mm. you know Ooh. so kind of and you know they are very young so it they is kind of hard sure. but um also with Christmas coming around that we have little um like Bethlehem uh -huh. where he's in the manger and I did explain to Charlene kind of you know this is yeah this is his birthday he was born just mm -hmm. like you and so now I'm, I'm still trying, we're still trying to like figure out how exactly to teach them because they're still so little, mm -hmm. but again, like we are teaching them prayer. Right. I was going to say, you're doing it already. Yep. And then Case, he has his Bible and, and he's pretty good at picking that up and reading wow. it. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty good. Make sure you tell them the nativity scene's a big lie. Yeah. <laughs> teach them young. <laughs> that it's a big lie? A big lie. Why? The wise men weren't at the manger. Oh, yeah. They always do place the wise men at the manger, right they beside there the manger. Year Why do they do that? Because so it sells? Later. Huh? Why do they do that I then? I don't know. I'm just kidding. I mean, it's it true, pretty? but it's all there. <laughs> it's just funny that they have the wise men at the manger. Yeah. They're always there, standing there. They're yeah. little rods or hooks, whatever the heck they are. <laughs> like canes? <laughs> what are they? They're like, little rods Whatever they are. Hooks. Those hooks. Yeah. Hooks. What are those? Yeah. What? Is that like a cane back I in the day? It was a cane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a really big cane with the hook on the with end. With the hook. <laughs> yes. Wait, wait. So I hold on. I want to go into this a little bit more. Yeah. So as you see your kids developing, yeah. right? Um, how do you see it like from you and Nate's responsibility to help disciple your kids? Will you take on that role and responsibility? Will you? And if oh you, yeah. Okay. We. I mean, we of course will try our yeah. best. I mm -hmm. guess. Um. Because you see a lot of parents at times be like, let somebody else teach them, we'll yeah. support them, but, you yep. know. Um, they also go to, or uh, the babies go to a daycare, um, mm. Christian daycare, and they love it there. And yeah. she learns there, too. Yeah. Um, oh, that's cool. They teach stuff yeah, there, too. Yeah, partnership so that, yeah, that's the good. daycare does some. And, oh. Yeah. But the parents then taking responsibility right. yeah, for Yeah, so, like, like, letting someone else do it, you know. They she learned so much there and she picks up on a lot, so mm -hmm. I, a lot to credit to the daycare as well. Um, but yeah, we'll definitely keep trying, and yeah, for sure. Yeah, I just wanted to know what your view was, what yeah. you guys thought, and yeah. yeah, training your kids up like there's just oh, yeah. such a difference between this is what I've always told parents you know, there's raising kids mm -hmm. and there's training kids, yeah, and we have to make sure that we train them in the midst of raising them, yeah, you know, because, oh man, we're trying. Yeah, it's just a hard task because I'm sure. all it seems like you get done is raising them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Meeting their needs and taking care of them and wiping their butts and <laughs> mm -hmm. cleaning their mouths off, you know, yeah. like making sure they have food. And then it's time to go to bed and they won't go to bed, you know, just yeah. like. And then another day. Oh, and then, and you're then tomorrow's coming. Yeah. Tomorrow's coming. Yeah. So anyway. Sounds okay. like a lot. All right. Sally Knuckles. She says, I have enjoyed getting to know Kaylin and her contagious smile. Kaylin, do you still dance? <laughs> yes. How does Sally know that? She read the uh, description. Oh, dub. I know. I know. The description but you it said. Like, I, <laughs> said okay. she likes to dance. I know, but it sounded like she yeah. knew. Yeah. Oh, maybe. She, I, maybe. I feel like she knows. Uh, here's what I bet happened. I bet she, Sally they, Knuckles was at the Rusty other? Spur. Yeah, I bet that's how I they bet. met each other. I bet. Can you see Sally Knuckles <laughs> out there line dancing? Yeah. Oh, Me too. I'm sure Me she too. Could. 
Yeah. No, sadly, I unfortunately don't like I do in the kitchen, yeah. but I really don't go anywhere to dance. <laughs> so so of... can you take a video of yourself line dancing in the kitchen <gasps> and send yeah. it to Jenny so we can put it out on the Yeah. You I will? Actually... Yeah. I yes. So you're, you're going to practice and then do it? She so doesn't you can't need to do practice. It. Well, if you let, seriously, if you put oh a man. song up today, she'd go right out there and do it. You would? Um. <laughs> yes. Yes, you would. What's one song? What's a song? Boot Scoot and Boogie. There you <gasps> go. Scoot put and it Boogie. On. Yeah. You want put me to put it on? Phone. Are you going to do oh, it? Oh, God. Put it on your phone. Put it on, wait. <laughs> yeah. No wait. Put do phone. it. Put it on your no phone. Way. Okay, hold on. Yes. No oh my way. gosh. Come on. Really, All you really need to pressured. do is just give us a couple, do and I'm going to follow along behind you. Right, so I'm going to do what I do at weddings. I want to do it. I want you to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Oh, but I have to put okay. it in the speaker. Yes. Hold on. We got to wait for the ad. All right. So, yeah. yeah. Did you have Apple Music? Oh, well, I didn't think to go there. I Googled it. <laughs> My first thought is Googling. Okay, wait, I gotta get behind you. So then, what okay. camera is she at? And then, yeah. This one right here. Okay. This one? Here we go. Just wanna do the wedding. Just watch it. Get up there. Oh, oh yes. Okay, I can't get this now. Whoa, my sister. Yeah, see, I'll just do this. Wait, so oh, like, I'm actually in the whiskey. No, it really is an IU. I might have messed that up at the beginning. No, just that perfect. Was that was that good. Was great. Yay. That's a first ever. ever. Good job. You, For the yes, person yes. who watches the podcast all the time, <laughs> it's perfect because it was a first ever yep. line dancing on there. That was fun. Yeah. So, yes, Sally Knuckles, she still does yes, dance. Yes, she does. <laughs> she changed her answer. Uh huh. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Second question or third question. Here we go. It is from Robert Grover. And he says, congrats on your baptism, by the way. How has God been using you after that? And what have you seen differently since then? I'm out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really bad. Okay. And what have you seen differently? I already said that since then, such as in your day-to-day -day life, things being harder or easier? Um, I feel like maybe things are the same. Um, I guess, um, are you out of breath too? Can you, can you repeat that question? <laughs> it no, was so, very wordy. Well, I mean, he's just saying, so, so after your baptism, yeah, so what has anything changed? So really, or even after your like, well, initial I, there's phase. things that I do differently now. Like yeah. I, I pray more. I yeah. pray during the day more. Yeah. I'm trying harder. Yeah. to get a relationship and it crosses my mind a lot more. Like it's not an afterthought, yes. I yeah. guess. That's it's at it. the forefront of the things that you're right. doing. Yeah. yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Keely Oswald says, or she wants to know what your favorite Christmas tradition is. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Actually, um, we always go to the Marion Walkway of Light. Oh, yeah. And we drive through that, and then oh, we stop yeah. at their little Christmas store, and then all the they kids. Have a Christmas store? Yes. I did really know good. That. It's it's so cool. It's so tiny and crowded, but okay. it's like the best <gasps> tiny place. Can you buy ever. hot chocolate in there? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I love. Yes. Oh yep, my gosh. So, anyways, our tradition is we get an ornament. All the kids get an ornament. Oh, every that's year, fun. And then go. Yeah. Do so you have a favorite it, Christmas movie? Uh, Christmas Vacation. Yes. <laughs> You're one of the Christmas Vacation. Which one were you? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't know. It would either be The Grinch or Elf. Okay. Do you oh, have a tradition? A a tradition? Christmas yeah. tradition? Um, oh my gosh. I'm trying to think. We had a lot more when my grandma was alive. So okay. when my grandma was alive, she was, she was a teacher, but she used to have this, like, I can't remember what it was in, but it was a bunch of like different words or songs. And we would pick it through the hat. That's what it was. It was a hat. And we'd have to sing that oh. carol. And that was oh. the one. And she always used to read us the Polar Express. 
So she had the book and then the book oh, had bells. Cool. So we would expect I her to read it I have never seen the Polar Express. Ever? Never. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so I've good. Seen, I've seen some of it, but I've never watched the it's whole thing. It's such a good okay, movie. Okay, so let's have a first. Yeah. Okay. Another first. Okay. How about we pick a, we'll pick a carol and you'll sing it. Well, I'm not really good with lyrics. <laughs> We can try. Jingle bell. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. <laughs> Keep it going. Jingle bell. Yeah, listen. I, I, that's get that I microphone. Because you were rock. Rock. That was great. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. <laughs> Come on. We did great. I, know, we I don't know all the into words. it. Dang, go on it. I don't know. The, I'm telling you, I'm really illiterate. We talked about yeah, this. It helps when like, it's in the background. It's like the words yes. come to you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. so yeah. weird how that just works like yeah. that. So we, the, our, this will be our, the first time I've been home on Christmas day in 15 years. What really? do you mean? Why? Because we used to go on vacation and ski. Oh, so we would, every right. Christmas we'd leave after Eve Eve mm-hmm. and then we'd go to New York, Michigan, oh, wow. wherever. So cool. And then we would ski on Christmas Eve and then we'd ski all day Christmas day. So we all put our lighted hats on or you know, so much fun. lights all yes. over and then we'd ski on Christmas day. So this is the first time that was one of our Christmas traditions. The other one, I brought it up in men's group last night. I haven't done this while, but I'm thinking about bringing it back. Do it. So when my kids believed in, wait, am I allowed to say this? Believed oh, in Santa yeah. Claus. Cause <laughs> yeah. there really Trigger. is. A Santa Claus. There really is. Yes, not there when, is. Not when they believe. <laughs> right. Yep. That they believe yes. that there is yeah, a Santa yeah. Claus. <laughs> so we used to have Santa gifts, you know, on on Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. Christmas Day. So you open Santa gifts. Christmas Eve, you open them for mom and dad. Oh. So you came down okay. on Christmas Day, you know, and when I was home, Santa Claus like Pepsi and cookies. <laughs> oh, so we yeah. used to leave out Pepsi and cookies, but Santa Claus in our house, like brownies and milk. Brownies and so milk. So you left out brownies and milk. And so anyway, so you'd open all your Santa gifts and That's I started cute. having a one to me from Santa. So I would buy myself a gun Oh my and gosh. then I would wrap it up and it'd be <laughs> two Mike from Santa. And oh I'd, my I'd be, gosh. I'd be like, kids, look, Santa Claus. Claus brought me again. Wow. Can you believe this? And I would open oh, it yeah. up on Christmas That's Day. Be like, I can't believe Santa Claus knew I needed wow. a 357. That's so it's nice the pen. most amazing thing I've ever seen. Hopefully anyway. he had a license when he was bringing down the chimney. That is so good. You never okay. gave the reindeer anything like carrots? No. See, that's interesting. We open on Christmas Day and then I open one gift at Christmas Eve. Okay. Like that's always been the thing. Well, here is a, so Ted Trout shared one of his, so he would go to the extent of taking their horse, going through the yard. to make, <gasps> Making marks. And then he would take posts and make like sleigh that is things cute. behind it. And that then he would really wipe away. Cute. And then when the kids would come out and be like, look, the, you know, the that sleigh so landed and the kid, he said, the kids always ask, why didn't they land on the roof? You know? <laughs> and he'd be like, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. So he used to make it out in his that yard like cute. that. Yeah. yeah. I just think Christmas traditions are fun. Oh I mean, yeah. I love traditions and in to general. And see like the excitement in the kids. And oh, I'm just, sure. Like, Left yeah, man. yeah so because good. don't you remember as a kid when yes. your parents would put on 15 or 21 and be like, look, look on the radar. Watching where Santa you, was. You see the blip. <laughs> yes. Nick, did you ever look at the radar to see? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what I mean. You better oh, get yeah. to bed. You better yep. get to bed. He's coming your yeah. way. And I was so like, I gotta get to bed. I gotta get to bed. And you can't wait to get up and you oh, come okay, running no. down. And, I could barely oh, yeah. sleep because I was so excited. And if yeah. you wake up. And I'd wake up at like, o'clock. yeah, I'd wake up. Really early when it'd still be dark out, and my brother and sister are so much older than me, they would be so mad. Yeah, so you had to <laughs> come go down get with their comforter up. and like have the grumpy look. Did you ever do the like you have to dress alike thing? No, but I will do that with my. Family. Are you the dress alike thing, Nick? Heather is the dress. She alike. is. <laughs> yes, we always get new pajamas. Oh, See, that is that's cute. what I want to so do. So you guys though. all wear your pajamas. Always, well, past couple of years, they haven't had them in my size. So. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's a good sign. That's awesome. Yes. He was able to wear them. He's able to wear them this year. That is so funny. That is great. <laughs> my size. I have always thought that was cute. I know that's that will be my tradition. To I'll get the same pajamas. Yeah, yeah. I want to do like 
on Christmas Eve. So you'll open that present and yep. it will be the pajamas. It will be like candy for the movie, like a certain movie and like this a is all bunch my Christmas of goodies. Eve. Yeah. Just a bunch of goodies for that night. See, this is the thing that people don't know. See, like I like that kind of stuff. So the when traditions. I say hate Christmas, I only hate the consumerism of Christmas. Which you made yeah. that clear yesterday. You know, I don't I think the family tradition sure. stuff is cool. You know, yeah. where you do a bunch of stuff together as a family and, mm -hmm. you know, you, you build your own traditions and what are you laughing are, at? Are your feelings getting hurt that people think that you don't like Christmas? Oh, no. no. <laughs> Have you ever been injured by huh? skiing? Injured by yeah. skiing? No. Oh, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Why? Is that a big payout? Because if no, you like do I'm call true at law. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny how it ties into that. No, like I am terrified of skiing. I've never gone. Yeah. So just, my kids uh, have, and I used to take youth groups all the time when I was a youth pastor. And uh -huh. so we've had some kids that have got concussions <gasps> and wow. uh, like Brady's a snowboarder, you know? And so he uh, has smacked his head a few times. Ooh. We used to go with the hoppers and Isaac Hopper broke his wrist a couple times. I think it was neck. So there has been some, but yeah. I've never had any. Yeah. And I love to ski. Like That's I, so cool. I would go it is scary. anywhere. And and it's just so much fun because you can do it together as a family. And yeah. yeah. Do you go in the UP? So we've to UP went to Boyne. We've been to Petoskey. We've been to Colorado. We've been to Ellicottville. Because our trip used to be... So you go on uh, Christmas Eve, okay. and so you go to Ellicottville, you ski Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and then the day after that, because it's, so it's a six-hour drive from here to New York to Ellicottville. Oh. Then from Ellicottville, New York, to New Jersey is like two and a half or three hours. Mm -hmm. So then we drive to New Jersey, stay in New Jersey, and take the train into the city. Oh, and so then you go to the fun. city during Christmas. And so you see oh, magical. Oh, and again, I, I hate beautiful. the city, but if you have not been to New York city, like, I don't know what it's like now, but light. Christmas, if you haven't been there with all the things and then we would stay until oh, new man. year's. So we'd oh, be there the day gosh. before new year's and we'd at, see all the ball going up. What? And That's yeah, been so my then, dream. I want to go oh, to the ball. Yeah, so we've been there, I think four times. See, that would be so much So that fun. was like mm -hmm. over Christmas. So we would leave and uh -huh. not so, get back until I've never home Christmas day or new year's so day. So this will be weird to you this year. Yeah. So, okay. Was that your gift was so like one a of big the things portion? That we, one of the things we decided a long time ago mm -hmm. was that I growing up never went on vacation ever. Mm -hmm. And so when I met Sherry, she didn't either, but she was a big vacationer like yeah. she always wanted to travel really and I was so against it I'm like we got everything we need here well mm -hmm. when we started to travel if you ask the kids memories yep right yeah you've done a lot of things in your life but they'll talk about vacations yes so right. we decided to not really buy gifts so mm -hmm. we would get them stuck in stocking stuffers oh, those or are the best little things but their mm -hmm. gift was lift tickets and ski rental See, and the trip yeah. and so they'll you look back and they, that's what they talk about. So yeah, they remember that there'll be pictures. Yeah. yeah. So we have pictures of all that. So we did that for, we always did that in the winter and then in the summer, we always did a vacation together. So that's so much fun. Yeah. Travel that's what somewhere. I would like to do is mm -hmm. a gift, like a vacation. Yeah. So it's more of a memory. Yeah. Cause they don't a gift need all these they just presents. Their, yeah. 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 Just get put at the bottom of the toy box. Yeah. Yes, no, right. Seriously, they, they get excited about them until like school starts. Yeah. Forget about it. Okay. This Sorry, is, we got off the subject. We did. Last one. Wait, hold on, guys. Maybe we should continue talking for a second. <laughs> All right, here we go. Real, real talk. All right, Emily Krieger, what is your favorite Christmas memory from when you were a child? Save oh. the best two for less. You know, the first one that comes to mind is... I was probably five or six in my, again, my sister, Tiffany, she's yeah. a little bit older than I am, four years, but we both got four wheelers. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Were That's they from fun. Santa? They were the, no, listen, Melissa. So I was still really young. So they were like the, the battery, like yeah. the push ones, mm -hmm. the battery okay. operated ones. Yeah. Oh, where you had to charge it? Kind of like power wheels. Yeah. Power yeah. wheels. Okay. Yeah. So super cool. So then um, yeah. at the house we lived in at the time, uh, just like went up and down the straight driveway <gasps> nonstop. Oh yeah. It was yeah. fantastic. Those were but fun. Back I'm then. not 
joking. That's the first memory that comes to mind. That's funny. I think of favorite, like, yeah, favorite Christmas memory. Do you have Is one? A favorite Christmas yeah. memory? Yeah. Um, I can't really, I don't think I can think of one right now. Have you forgot your whole childhood? Yeah. Or? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Nick, do you have a favorite Christmas memory? Growing? Uh, That's a hard question. I just remember getting up super early. Like, okay. Yeah. yeah. I would get up at like two o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wake up my little brother. Yeah, yeah. accidentally. <laughs> Oops. That's so Oops. How funny. did you get up? Huh? He was ready. Oh, for, I was so excited. Yeah. So yeah. excited for the gifts. Mine was a three wheeler. A three wheeler. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I can remember favorite. it was like we were all sitting there and we opened up all of our gifts. And I can remember my dad saying, Hey, I was out in the garage and it looks like Santa Claus dropped something off in the garage. <laughs> oh, and that I'm is like, so cool. Santa's in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> and we all running out there. Oh, and it was my. a 90 Honda three wheeler. Cool. And it was so, so cool. it was so wow. cool. Wow. Yeah. Those, I love like those kind of gifts are the best. Yeah. Like so fast like ones. Something we just, fast ones? Fast, fast, like yeah. four wheelers, yeah. three wheelers. I feel like three wheelers are so much easier to tip over. Oh, oh yeah. Man. It, it threw me it, for a juicy one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely different than a four wheeler. Yeah. Yeah. My memories, I can't think of good ones. I can think of the bad ones. <laughs> you can think I've of a bad I've ruined a lot one. of holidays. Oh, yeah. No, no. But way those are the back. first ones that come okay. to my mind. Okay. All right. Anyways. Okay. So I'll end of the questions. End of yep. the questions. Okay. We so, made it. Yeah. Right. Thank you, first of all, for being on. Thank you for taking time to share bits and pieces of mm-hmm. your life and what you're doing. And again, we'll continue to be on the journey with you, praying for you guys and your family as you continue to journey on in your faith. And as a reminder, if you're watching or listening to this, make sure you come up and yes. say hi. You know, that's yeah. another reason yeah. why we love to do the podcast. Now you can put a name with the face and you'll be mm-hmm. able to connect together and helps us get to know each other here yeah. at life church. And again, uh, just come up and, and say hi, welcome and not welcome, but just <laughs> connect with you. Right. Like if yeah. they in the past and, yeah. and to be a great I love connection. talking to people. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so right. it's invited. Yeah. <laughs> it is welcomed. Yeah. So again, thanks for joining yeah, us. Thanks thank for you. being on again, everybody. Don't forget. We'd love for you to like or share, subscribe if you can to the podcast. Podcasts, huh? Subscribe. Yeah, yeah. somebody said that, that a couple weeks one, ago. Yeah, right? like make sure you subscribe. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Go, leave comments Was on our me? YouTube. Did I say it? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Leave comments on our YouTube. Um, comment on Jenny puts posts out there. We'd love for you to comment on those. Share it once this comes out. If you can share it on your timeline, your feed, mm-hmm. or whatever you're on, it helps us get more exposure, more people to get to know the podcast and what we're doing. So thanks yeah. for joining us. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>